power of God into an angel and expect them to be like, woohoo, I'm going to be, I have guardian angels, and so I'm going to do stupid stuff. Because sometimes God will allow us to get hurt because of our stupidity. Here we see that this was a messenger of God because it said an angel of the Lord. We see that Peter, his first response, it may have been confusion. Like, what's going on? Peter thought he was seeing a vision. But when the angel brought him out of bondage, he brought him out. He was changed. Imagine that. Being chained between two guards. You're not having any freedom. You can't even go pee on your own. You have to have the guards right alongside of you because they're afraid of you running off. And not only do they have the guards chained to him, but they have guards posted outside the door. So, so there's this reinforcement of what they're trying to do, right? So you may be sleeping. Imagine me like Peter and you're sleeping, and then all of a sudden you see this bright light, and all of a sudden the chains fall off, right? And you're walking through. So you can imagine why he might have been confused with what's going on. He's seen a vision, so that he thought he was seeing a vision that that maybe God was speaking to him. Remember, Peter was the one who God talked to, used the vision, brought down the sheets out of heaven. So, so that might be why Peter saw this vision, or thinking that this was a vision. But it says when he came to himself, he saw that God released him from his bondage. God can do that for us. When we allow God to come into our lives, when we allow Christ to come into our lives, he can release us from the bondage of sin or addictions or anger or depression, but we have to allow him to work. We have to wait on him. We cannot do this on our own accord. God can do it. Jesus can do it, but we have to let him do it.